A dangerous, record-breaking deep freeze prompting an emergency meeting at Utah's Capitol Hill. State and local leaders gathering to address homelessness in Utah and the increase in demand for housing. Now, part of the solution proposed um, asking all and any landlords to step up and help ease the overload. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson live tonight with more. Brittany. That's right, Emily, and that is just one of many solutions that we heard today. We also learned that even with this overflow and people seeking shelter in these freezing temperatures, the road home shelter in downtown Salt Lake City is still set to close in four weeks this winter. Lawmakers citing concerns over security, staffing, cost and safety. Record cold temperatures, increasing demand for shelter across Utah and here in Salt Lake City leading to an emergency closed door meeting at the Capitol. State and local leaders all in attendance. There is an army behind the effort and it's a coordinated effort. Collectively, Salt Lake's new resource centers have space for 700 people. That's about 400 fewer than the road homes downtown shelter can fit. The reasoning behind less space is to move away from emergency shelter and into alternative housing options, treatment beds and other residential facilities. The problem, Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox says freezing temperatures and wide scope of services have kept people in the new resource centers for longer than usual. We see that actually as a positive. It's more than we expected. But again, this is emergency shelter for a reason. Sometimes we forget that. Emergency shelter is supposed to be brief and rare and, uh, and hopefully not reoccurring. Temperatures aren't going to continue to drop. Um, what's rare about this year is we are having January temperatures in October, which is part of the reason I think we've seen that spike. Solutions proposed today get as many homeless individuals in the system housed in order to decrease the emergency shelter demand. Utilize current overflow at St. Vincent de Paul Dining Hall. Use of motel and motel vouchers. Make the most of 78 new beds at the Odyssey House and get landlords to step up and determine if they have open units. Apartment buildings are across the county. Um, we have people now who have vouchers who would qualify to get into, into subsidized housing, um, but we haven't been able to locate units for them right now. We know they're out there. We just need to coordinate and talk to people, and that's really going to be the push by the city. Lawmakers plan to reconvene in four weeks to see where things stand. Reporting live tonight from the Utah State Capitol, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. Our